Hello friends. <coughs> this video on thermal properties of matter part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 8 before going ahead with part 9. Now let us look at the relationship between the coefficient of volume expansion that is alpha v and the coefficient of linear expansion alpha l. Let us suppose we have a metal box whose length of each side is l. So this is in the form of a cube, a cube shaped metal box with each length side being l. Now let us suppose so each length side is L right now. So what is the volume right now? It is L cube. Now let us suppose temperature is increased by delta T. So what will happen when temperature is increased? That means there would be expansion. So that means L will also increase by delta L and the entire volume will also increase by some delta amount. So when temperature is increased, this L becomes L plus delta L. Right? Now, from definition of coefficient of linear expansion, we know that alpha L will be equal to delta L divided by L, this whole divided by delta T. So, from this we can write alpha L delta T into L is equal to delta L. Right? Now, also, as the temperature increases by delta T, the volume V will also increase by delta V. So, V will become V plus delta V. Now, from this, if you see, what is this delta V? This delta V is the change in volume. So, we can write this delta V as the final volume that is L plus delta L whole cube minus the initial volume that is L cube. So this we can write as A plus B whole cube. So A cube plus B cube plus 3AB A plus B. This minus L cube. So L cube and L cube will get cancelled. Since delta L is very small, the increase in length is very small. So cube of increase in length would be almost 0. So this is neglected and considered to be 0. So this is equal to 3L delta L into L plus delta L. This can be written as 3L square into delta L plus 3L delta L whole square. Here again this term can be approximated to 0 because square of delta L will be very much negligible. So this is equal to 3L square delta L. So we saw that delta V comes out to be 3L square delta L. Right? Now let us look at what is the coefficient of volume expansion. That is alpha V is equal to delta V by V into delta T. Right? This is the coefficient of volume expansion. So instead of delta V we can write 3L square delta L divided by what is V? V is volume that is L cube into delta T. So this L square will get cancelled with this. So we get alpha V is equal to 3 into delta L by L into delta T. So what is this? Delta L by L into delta T. This is nothing but alpha L that is coefficient of linear expansion. So we find that coefficient of volume expansion is 3 times the coefficient of linear expansion. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.